So yeah, uh, on the road again. That's on the bus here. Long, long journey to leaks of my head, but a big game coming up. So I'm going to something called Intel East, which is the East bus up for Intel to get to uh, the gym. It's Dublin bus, but it's not actually in Dublin, it's in Kildare, uh, which the Leeds people are very protective of, believe me. Right, so we now are actually in danger of not getting to the game on time, having been guaranteed to be there 40 minutes early, because the bus driver drove literally the wrong bus, so he came in, right bus, and uh, <laughs> turned out he uh, had signed on to the wrong bus, and so we took a flat turn, and he said, sorry, you've got to go all the way back, about a 10 minute walk, and get a different bus, and like, it's a bank holiday here, so... Ugh, Jesus, well, I better not swear because it's YouTube, but it's annoying. You've had way more of me in the bus in this video than I planned, but yeah, hopefully this time we'll make it on time. Just about made it in time, folks. As you can see, though, we're only going to be able to do one end at a time because the tannoy is in the way. <laughs> So it's 18-18, late here in the first, uh, and it's quickly becoming apparent that it's not win to possibly win the title, it's win to fourth title playoff, because Cholester are rolling away to Brunel. That game's going to end around before half time here, and that should be a very comfortable win for Cholester looks of it. That means if Philippi Celtics don't beat Wildcats here, Philippi Celtics lose out on a title altogether. If they win, it's a playoff next Saturday in Dallas. But a uh, tight one so far, tight game, just under two minutes left in Q1. I can't see anything here. Tell you what, I'm not sure that it's support my way. This is just as well he's a thinner bloke than me, like, you know? I'm not sure that old gantry. Look, it looks like a good gantry, don't get me wrong, but I'm a big boy. Don't think it would support me. So yeah, half time here, and Lippi's out of the blown is open, 22 points up. So it'll be them and Colester barring a shocking turnaround here in a title playoff Saturday night coming. But uh, going to enjoy the second half, not least because we'll actually get some Lippi Celtic scores on camera. Because obviously, you saw, I showed you the gantry. I tried a couple of Lippi Celtics offenses through the gantry. Uh, you know, my camera can't see through walls, basically. Uh, happy with my buddy in the gantry. He looks safe and stuff out there. I'd have probably broken the thing. I'm so big and fat. But yeah, no, good game so far. And uh, hopefully get some good action. And talk to Carl Kupright, the coach, and some others afterwards. quarters, maybe solid, well on top, 856. And uh, yeah, really impressive, uh, you know, game from the home team here, really ahead of what will be undoubtedly quite a fascinating final decider next week. Eight seconds.
Lions' last possession of the game. You would think. That's the horn. Maybe Celtics win by 20. So, Carl, obviously you got the win today, and how do you feel about the performance, man? Uh, it's a lot of we were um, a huge step up from Saturday. Um, I thought we did a much better job of taking care of the ball. Um, when, we can get, when we can get shots on the rim, you know, we, we rebound the ball really well offensively. Um, so when we take care of the ball, we, uh, we look really good. I couldn't have passing to do the team. But more than anything, I thought in the first half defensively we were magnificent. I thought Anya, Anya put on a, just a, a basketball clinic there today. Um, she was spectacular. Um, uh, you know, but it was a, as it has been all year, the whole team effort. Right, Addy was great at times, T was great at times. We don't need to just lean on one person. There's a whole group of them there. Taylor Vardy was amazing today. Um, so we're really happy. And obviously, Women's Super League, it's normally the regular season. This year, it's going to be a bit different. It's a one-game playoff for y'all against Colester. How are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, look, we, we just said our, our first game of the season was an epic game against Colester to start the league. And now uh, we've come full circle and we get to end the season uh, for, you know, one game takes it all, so it's, uh, we're you know, really happy to be here, um, and it's an exciting week ahead. And obviously you and Mark, the coach class, you know each other all your lives. Is it a bit weird when it's someone that close to you that you're coaching against? Um, no, I'd happily root against Mark, it's all right. Um, no, I look, it's, well, obviously, you know, Mark's my best mate, and uh, I've been in class my whole life, and so is Mark, but we're, this is my only focus here. Right? We're, we're trying to win games. This is the, these are the girls that we're trying to get over, over the top, and... Whether it's being your best mate or being someone you don't know, it doesn't matter, we're just looking to get a win. Alright, Rachel, I suppose, coming into this again, you're kind of hoping the season will be in, ending today, you got one more game, how do you feel about that? I think, you know what, like, it's kind of nice, it's like the beginning of the whole league now coming up on Saturday, so obviously we just have to focus on this weekend, get our wins, like, we were obviously looking at the other games, but we knew we had to do our job as well, so, uh, you know, it's exciting to look forward to Saturday, I assume it's okay Saturday, uh, and, yeah, it's exciting. And obviously as an opponent, you know, oh so well in Colester, like, what's it like going up against a team when you have such a rival to history with them? Obviously it actually makes it more exciting and like because if you actually look at our two previous games there was only three points in it on either side so it really makes it a, like an even match and it's really who's going to show up on the day and who wants it more so that makes it like all the more exciting. So. And like you're still in college, you're just ruining your study schedule at all? Like. Uh, yeah, no, I'm busy with study as well but this is obviously a nice little break from it and uh, keep the mind as well so no, I am really enjoying it. So obviously great result today, how are you feeling after that? Uh, yeah, look, we're delighted. It was, um, you know, it was always going to be a tough game, one very, very physical, good side. So we probably haven't played as well as we'd like our last couple of games, so it's good to get a good win uh, ahead of, you know, play, league playoff next week. And obviously such a high stress weekend, like two games in three days, essentially, with neither team knowing what was going to happen yourself and Leicester. Did that like sort of, you know, the nerves play into it at all? Um, no, I guess we were took confidence from our preparation and, you know, we've got that you know, we've worked hard in training all year, we've done a lot of fitness over the last couple of months, I think that kind of showed today. Uh, we're able to keep going, keep the tempo high, which is when we're at our best, so... Probably, I'm not someone who gets nervous, I can't speak for everyone else, but I think we took confidence in our preparation, we're able to use that today. And obviously one more game, how are you feeling going up against Colester next week? I mean, look, it's going to be a tough game, um, obviously we beat them by three here, they beat us by three away. You know, we're very evenly matched, but we're going to be kind of contented, the next two I think the best on the day. And, you know, it's exciting, it's great to be in a, a league by a final. It's where we want to be and see the match we're playing. Yeah, so very impressive win for Olympic Celtics in the end by 20 points, 96 to 76. We heard there from Circa, Rachel, and of course the coach Carl Kilbride. It's all about next Saturday now for them against Colester. I'll be along, I'll be racing. It'll be, for the third straight game I'm covering, it'll be a comical race against traffic because I've got, once again, commentating on a volleyball game while then racing to the Tallis straight afterwards to try and make it to the basketball. Because, yeah, heaven forbid, I gave myself a same schedule. But listen, if you haven't already, please subscribe, it makes all the difference. Tell your friends, hit that ring, bell, whatever. All the things the cool YouTubers say that people with gray hair like me are too old to be saying. And I got you next.